Hello everyone, it's Liza here. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel, for watching this. I want to say a special thanks to all of you who have helped me get to my first thousand subscribers. It's all thanks to you guys. Honestly, we make these videos to bring a smile to your face, to be able to have you know, some creative fulfillment, doing some things that we love to do. And by we, I mean my husband and I. Omar. Yeah. Feel free to check out his channel, at The Gentleman Wake. You can check that out in the link below. All right, so this is my very first Q&A. Yay! <laughs> uh, and I'm very excited. We did it on Instagram. If you don't follow me yet on Insta, it's at Liza Quinn. I said the questions could be about anything. At Lucas Jolton, he said, I think you should cover the method by which you come up with dialogue, specifically in the context of comedy. Just saying it would be fascinating to learn about your process. Actually, this is fun to talk about because I never really get to talk about it. All right, so dialogue is a little interesting. So I do script the sketch comedy that we do here, um, but uh, I don't adhere to the script that much. Would you like me bring you fresh down? I don't. So there are a few key jokes that I like to make sure that I get in. And after that, if I can make the director, my husband, laugh, <laughs> then I know I'm onto something. My friend Kawhi asks, what was the development process of Jerry? That character has me in tears. <laughs> I appreciate that you like Jerry because he is one of my favorite characters to play. Jerry, uh, in a nutshell, is a little bit of a lot of different guys that I've encountered, but the costume is what made the man in that uh, instance. My husband bought all this stuff on Amazon to create this character. What? And he bought like this tattoo sleeve and all this stuff. So I put all the stuff on and in the moment, I don't know why, I think it was his idea that we decided that he had to be really tall because we thought it would be funny since I was playing off myself to have this like really tall guy named Jerry. We got this wig in the mail that was ridiculous. Okay, it looked nothing like the picture. It was like huge. And over time it's gone like kind of taming down. It's still the same wig, but it looked ridiculous. I was like, great, what do I do now? But my husband bought this like fantastic real facial hair kind of mustache and goatee situation. When I put that on, that was when Jerry came to life. Yo, I ate a brownie like before I came, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, I had to interrupt and add this little, uh, this addendum, if you will, to this video because I overlooked some questions on Twitter. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst tweeter on the planet. I sounded so old when I said that. Farouk Jamal, who's a great friend of the channel and of my husband's channel as well, he sent me some really, really fun questions that I really would like to answer at this moment. Number one, do you dream as Yannick or Liza? I mean, I don't know, Liza dreams like all the characters. Am I talking about myself in the third person now? You see, you see what this has done to my head? <laughs> That's a great question. I would say if Janet dreams, she dreams about J Balvin. She dreams about being famous and she dreams about a lot of things that I can't discuss right now because they're probably rated triple X. <laughs> Number two, have I have come across a couple of songs of you on YouTube. What's your music side of the story? Okay, so this ties into another question that, that's in this Q&A. And I invite you guys to go check out my website, LizaQuinn.com, where I have a bunch of information there. Speaking of music, can you do Zombie by the Cranberries in this video? Yes, I absolutely will. After this last question. Number four, this one is for Yannick. The world depends on this, Yannick. Can you steal a parlor dynastine deck from under... <laughs> <laughs> From under the gentleman wakes nose and send it to me. That is awesome. I will see what I can do. It's so, oh, zombie. Okay, I'm probably gonna distort the microphone now doing this. But you see, it's not me. It's not my family. In your head, in your head. She has too much vibrato. All right, back to the Q&A. At the gentleman wake asks, who's your favorite person? Duh, you. Jibuti23, hi Jibreezy. Tell us about your journey in the music industry and what made you want to sing, please. I love this question because those of you who only know me from YouTube have never, I mean, not that anybody really knows me. I mean, I'm not famous or anything. Okay, but seriously, let's, let me pull it together. I'm a singer and a songwriter and a vocal coach. I discovered very early on that I love to sing and I love to perform and I love to entertain, which is what I'm hoping that I'm doing here. And it's all evolved into this. 
Oscar is asking me to speak a little bit more about my dreams, my hopes, my goals. Uh, basically, my goals are to keep making all the things that fulfill me and keep making things that hopefully make you guys happy. So as long as you're willing to watch and listen, I'm going to continue to create and make things. So uh, at John underscore Japanda, I'm the world's smallest YouTuber. How does one approach collaborating with someone like yourself? Well, we actually chatted in the DMs after this. We're going to see what we can work out, right, John? Also, since you're Mrs. Wake, what are your favorite decks of cards? I will show you guys. I'm the Gentleman Wake, and I present the first deck in the TGW brand, the Parlor Playing Cards. I will tell you that if you check out my husband's channel, you're going to probably want to start collecting playing cards, so do be careful. Highly addictive. Saida at Serna24 asks, My queen, when are you coming back to singing? Now, I love Saida because we go way back on the interwebs. To answer that question, yes, I absolutely will. In order to do a really great body of work, I would have to rely on other people. So hopefully we'll get to expand the team one day and I'll be able to make more. Our last question by Frozen Dragon 22 Who is Yannick's ex? Do you mean Maruchi's ex, who Yannick is currently dating? Or are you talking about like an ex from before that? Because Yana has a lot of exes. She stays very busy. Guys, thank you so much for this. Again, if you want to jump in on the convo over on Insta, make sure you check it out at Liza Quinn. Or if you want to do another one of these, just drop a, a question in the comments below and we'll do an, another one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Guys, I freaking love you. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around with me. And I hope we can continue to grow together. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.